Now, this paper says that if we cancel Trident and bring in conscription, we shall have one and a half billion pounds available for tax cuts. And what do I find? What do you find, Prime Minister? I find that the Chancellor of all people opposes me on this. A wonderful chance to be popular with the voters. And he says no. Doesn't that surprise you? No. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. Why doesn't it surprise you? Uh, because he's advised by the Treasury, and the Treasury don't believe in giving money back. Well, it's not theirs. <laughs> it's the taxpayers. That is one view. It's not the view of the Treasury, Dave. <laughs> not once they've got their hands on it. But if they don't need it. Sorry? If they don't need it. Taxation isn't about what you need. No, what is it about? Prime Minister, the Treasury doesn't work out what they need to spend and then think how to raise the money. Well, what does it do? They pitch for as much as they think they can get away with and then think what to spend it on. <laughs> if you start giving money back because you don't need it, you're breaking with centuries of tradition. <laughs> what would happen to the British Navy, for example? We'd we'll still be there. We we'll still need a navy. We have only four capital ships, so we'd need only four admirals and one admiral of the fleet. How many admirals have we got? Sixty. <laughs> the Treasury is the most powerful department because it controls all the money. If you take away its money, you take away some of its power. So naturally, they resist 